Hi, my name is Jacob Mintz. I'm Kevin O'Hara. I'm Nick. And we are the Salty Shakers. Uh, this is for our ME154 Fall 2018 project. So the first part of our project was to design a mechanism that took a rotating input and got an oscillating output. We also put some other restraints on our own project to have it small, to have it cheap, and to have it simple so that we could fit it within the time constraints of the semester. The goal that we decided to come up with was a salt shaker that was coming out at, as you can see here, 52 degrees down. 52 degrees, so that when it's coming out, the salt's going down at negative 28 degrees. And this is how we came up with this. We decided to use the graphical synthesis methods that we learned in class, and we decided to do a time ratio of 1 because at the time we did not know whether we were going to need faster acceleration going forward instead of backwards to get the salt to come out further. In the end, after a couple of iterations and further studies, we did not need this. We left it as initially designed. Correct. Um, after knowing the design requirement, we create, uh, we built this, and then like knowing the the crank is at a constant speed of one revolution per second. And then the weight we can use uh, by using the force matrix. We can know um, the forces at each pin, and then by using that we can calculate uh, the stress. And then from there we can also get the CD factor. Since we uh, so uh, coupler, we got two point five 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 is pretty pretty low. It is because that we have um, tin design, which is like having a small area cross-section area, so that will give you a lower um, safety of factor. Hi there. So this is our design, and we noticed from testing our design that when we cranked it like so, that the rocker was a lot heavier and moving a lot more than we wanted to be able to shake out the salt, and we were giving a lot more salt than was needed for our application. So we decided to build a smaller one that the ratio of all the linkages is the same. We half the sizes of all of them, and because everything's smaller, the forces within it should be less. Um, and as long as the crank is moving at still one rotation per second, um, this should be hitting the end point at the same times. Uh, but because we moved uh, the salt shaker closer to the pivot, uh, it should lower the velocity of the salt itself. And so as you can see from testing, uh, it applies the perfect amount of salt to our popcorn. Pretty well salted. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. like a like a like a like a